So this is a very simple Madras fish curry. I got it from Tamil Nadu in, in India. The reason I like it, it's very fresh as a curry. Also, it's got relatively few ingredients, very, relatively few spices, which makes it very easy to make. When I had it in a little seaside town in India, in Tamil Nadu, it was made with snapper. But the closest thing we've got in the UK to snapper really is bass, I think. So these are two lovely fillets of, of, of sea bass, of wild sea bass. First of all, though, I want to prepare some onions and garlic. So I'm just going to slice up this onion. It doesn't need to be too uh, minutely sliced because it's all going into a big curry mix. Let me say before I get any further, curry is only the word that we use in the UK to donate a particular type of cooking from the Indian subcontinent. It's got nothing to do with the correct terminology. But if I say in the UK a curry, everybody sort of knows what I mean, i.e. a sort of fairly liquid, very spicy sauce with meat or fish. So I've chopped up some onions and now I'm going to chop up some garlic, add some oil, about 60 mils of oil, a bit more maybe and some mustard seeds, yellow mustard seeds. This is a very important ingredient in this curry, I always think. So I'm just gonna fry those till they start to pop. You see what I mean? I just want some of them to stay in the pan though. In there goes my onions and garlic. And I'm just gonna turn the heat down a little bit, just fry those till they pick up a bit of color. So this is going to take about four or five minutes just to pick up some colour and cook the, the onions out nicely. So about one more minute of this and I'll just move over here. I'm just going to cut up a few tomatoes to go in there as well. We'll just roughly cut them up. So there we go, that's fine. Now this is nicely cooked, just beginning to take up a bit of colour, nicely reduced. So now let's add some spice. First of all, some ground coriander, about a teaspoon of that, and then some Kashmiri chili powder. Um, the reason I always use Kashmiri chili powder in my Indian dishes is because you can use a lot of it because it's not particularly hot. And very important, about a teaspoon of turmeric. Um, so don't think of using something like cayenne pepper. I'll put all that in there, why not? Um, because cayenne pepper is hot, but Kashmiri chilli powder isn't, and you get a lovely flavour of chillies as well as quite a lot of heat. And now in go my tomatoes. There we go. That's really good there. Just, just let that cook down a little bit. And now the next ingredient is some coriander. The frozen ones are okay, but don't bother with the dried ones. Like many dried herbs, they taste of nothing. So in there goes coriander. Now an ingredient which is very important in here is tamarind. So a couple of teaspoons of tamarind paste. Very important, very nice astringency that has. So just stir that in. And now, most importantly, not only for flavour but also for texture and colour, some green chilies. Just a couple I think. It's, if you at all worried about your curry being a bit too hot. Do take the seeds out because that's where all the heat is. But I'm not too fussed. I like a bit of heat happening. So I'm going to leave the seeds in. But also I'm not going to chop these chilies up too finely because I just want the look of them in the finished curry. There we go. Just like that. And then in they go. Now that's just about everything in there except about a teaspoon of salt. Now I just need that to cook down for about 10 minutes now, but just because the tomatoes are a little bit on the dry side, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of water. And check my rice, which is doing very nicely. Basmati rice to go with it, of course. And um, just leave that to cook down now, 10 minutes. Okay, my sauce is very nicely curry, it's very nicely reduced down now, just taste that. Yeah, that's really good. Now I'm just going to cut my bass up into sort of portions, I suppose, pieces. 
And the most simple thing with a fish curry is actually the cooking the fish because it's the last thing you want to do. Um, as, as you know, fish cooks very quickly, so it's really the last thing to go in. This will literally take about two or three minutes max. So there we go. Just going to turn those over a little bit like that. And again, you don't want to overcook your fish at all because that's one of the joys of this is when you start to eat that fish and it's all lovely and fresh and still nice and moist. Turn down the heat a little bit. Just let that cook away very, very gently. So now I'll start to um, get a couple of plates up, I think, to serve it. I cook my rice very simply. I don't bother to wash it. I just put it in water at the rate of one part rice to 1.6 parts water, whichever way you want to work that out. Bring it to the boil and then turn it right down to like really just a very tiny tremble almost and leave that for 10 minutes. Turn the heat right off and leave, leave it for about another three minutes to finish off cooking. So, without further ado, but there you've got two lovely dishes of Madras fish curry.